We've got a story that nobody else can tell. We're America's oldest brewery, and coming up on 190 years, it's a, it's a special moment. People come here on tours and they're just in awe that it's a 190-year-old brewery. When the craft brew revolution was starting 30 years ago, these young craft brewers were lined up at the door asking us how we did it. Walking up the steps to the main office, everybody walked up them. My great-great-great-grandfather walked up them, my grandfather, my dad, and you can see the groove and a little bit worn out of the steps. We survived the Civil War, two world wars, prohibition, depression, recession, the flower children. Uh, we survived everything, we're still here. Most regionals went out of business. All the regionals around here went out of business. You know, there was a will to not fail, and I think that was the key driver, and you know, that challenged people to be open-minded, to try things, to take risks. It, it just, it speaks for the quality and integrity of the beer, that people are still want a good American lager. It's exciting to be a part of a 190th anniversary, um, to still be a family business, transitioning from fifth to sixth generation. The big thing about having your family in it is to keep it going for another generation. I don't want to be the last generation to run this company, so to have them here is, is really rewarding. They're about ready to take over themselves. Not only are we transitioning into our sixth generation, but we've had many years of multi-generational employees. We have husbands and wives, brothers, sisters, so it's really pretty cool that it's not just a family business for us, but it is for our employees as well. My favorite part about working here is probably like the family atmosphere. You know where you sit because the owners are here. You don't have a lot of turnover here either. Yeah, you know what nice I mean? You're know. working with the same people. They're not leaving. That's nice. I mean, we've had fans that have been loyal Yingling customers for years and just ones that are just finding out about us. It's pretty neat to see how people can't wait to get back home to drink a Yingling beer where they load up their trunk with Yingling to take back to the Midwest or the West Coast. I mean, how many people could uh, spread the cheer like we do? There's four girls part of the Next Generation Legacy, so we're very excited to be a part of it and hope to be around for another hundred years.